Hey everybody, Rick Riordan here with TV Insider. I'm so excited. I'm going to show you a scene from the new Percy Jackson and the Olympian show on Disney Plus. And we're going to talk about it as it goes. And I can tell you what I remember from it and the particular things that I love about this scene. This one is especially near and dear to my heart. This is Capture the Flag at Camp Half-Blood. Let's take a look. We see Luke in battle. He is, of course, the best swordsman at camp. Charlie Bushnell's so good in this role. I love this. Walker just is so funny. What does a 12-year-old kid do in the woods, you know? The gecko! I have to stop it here. I love that smile on Walker's face for one thing. But did you know that gecko handler is an actual job that you can have in the film industry? That is, I mean, if I had known that, I might have taken a whole different career path. But I love that we have gecko handlers. It's so cool. And that scene, I don't know how many times Walker actually had to just spend petting the gecko. So they got the one shot that worked in the scene. But it's amazing. You can probably guess who's coming up here. OK, it's Ares' cabin. Yeah, glory's fine. Revenge is more fun. The famous electric spear. I love that effect. I'll stop it there for a second. It's so funny because Walker there, by this point in his training, he had gotten so good at swordplay that he had to remember how to do it badly for the scene because his character hasn't learned how to fight very well. So they had to like scale back his prowess with the blade, which I, I think is amazing. That's because Walker's just an incredible perfectionist, and he wanted it to be so good that he spent a lot of time with his sword. Our fight choreographers did such a great job. They had so much fun making that fight come to life. Such a good Clarice. I love the Ares cabin. You know, it'd be one thing if she just screamed, but she doesn't do that. She has this sort of quieter sense of menace that somehow even scary. Ow, ooh, ow. I watched Walker take that fall down that hill probably 20 times. The, the, part of it was him, part of it was his stunt double. But, oh my goodness, by the end of the day when they were doing that one fall down that one hill, I, I was hurting myself. I felt like I needed Tylenol. He's surrounded. I love that laugh she does. And something changes. He's got the momentum now. Oh, that's not good. Now here's the Clarice scream. But hey, he broke the magic item that she got from her dad, so I understand. Clarice has one of the best weapons in Percy Jackson's world. It's this electrical spear. And that is exactly how I imagined it. Our prop master, uh, Dean Goodine, was, he's, he's been in the business for decades and has created every kind of weapon, every kind of prop you can possibly imagine. So we would spend days in the prop shop looking at prototypes. Well, what do you like about this sword? Does this look like Riptide or should it be like that? Or how wide is the blade? And the spear, we saw so many different permutations of it. We picked the one that looked the wickedest, the one that looked the best. And then what did we do? We broke it. Poor Clarice, no more electric spear. I'll stop it again there because Walker shared with me the other day that when Dior came up to him in that scene and grabbed him, Walker was afraid that she was really going to pulverize him. She was so convincing and so angry in character that he was scared. And he was glad when that horn blew, and she had to put him down. So that's good acting. Yes, Annabeth. The hand of friendship. I'm sorry. What is wrong with you? <laughs> We're going to stop it there. Do you know how cold that water was? Oh, that was not something I would want to be dumped in. But with as with all of these scenes, every scene you see was done again and again and again and again. So the amount of times that she had to push Walker 
into the drink was pretty extreme. But finally, at the end of a very long day, um, they managed to get the perfect shot, and that's what you're seeing here. So it's really incredible to me, and something I didn't appreciate about television and about filming in general, is how long it takes to get every shot. Every second of filming that you see took hours of actual work to get it just right, to pick the right camera angle, incredible. And when you've got this many people, look at how many people are in this scene. All of those are important cast characters, extras, and everybody's got to be there all day long just to get that one shot. The camp was created from scratch by our art, de art team. It was an amazing, so much great work. Those canoes, I wanted to take one out on the water. They look so good. Camp Half-Blood, favorite scene ever. Mm, captured the flag. Makes me want to go out and uh, fight somebody with a sword. Not really. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and I hope you all enjoy the series on Disney+. Plus.